Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? That sun is blinding me. I'm just going to the gym. It's about, I think it's like quarter to 12 now, maybe. Um, but I've been, I got up this morning about half seven. I was working last night, a driving lesson this morning. That was about nine till 10. And then, yeah. Now, I finally got dressed to go to the gym and I have planned like a HIIT workout I want to do. I've done like a lot of weight training recently, apart from on Monday when I did 7K. I ran 7K. 7K. I've never done that before, so I was super happy about that. Um, but yeah, I have planned a circuit. You know, there's different training, like full body, um, you know, like one's like an ab circuit and other one's kind of just about breaking a sweat and others upper body. I just wanna, you know, break a sweat and feel good. And then, the reason I'm doing that is because I then have to sit in a coffee shop for a couple of hours to learn my lines because I keep trying to sit at home and learn them but I just keep getting distracted. I keep wanting to just go on my laptop and watch Grey's Anatomy or watch vlogs or I don't know google something stupid. In productive the other day I got myself um, a profile on Monday which is it used to be called Casting Call Pro um, so I set up a profile on there because someone suggested I do that um, so like that's that opens up more like jobs and opportunities and stuff on there so you know the other day I was quite productive doing that but you know it's all well and good me being productive for that when I've not learnt the lines for my next project which is my show next month so yeah I really need to crack on because I have so many lines and I've got like monologues left right and centre and it's not an easy script to learn because it's um it's not a modern play at all um it's by Chekhov it's called The Seagull um it's obviously you're not just learning the lines you're learning to say things in a way that you're not necessarily used to because we don't structure sentences the way they like the way they did um we don't word things the way they did that's what i mean i really need to crack on so yeah i need to get to the gym so i can do that and then tonight i am seeing my dad and me and my sisters going around i think me olivia and ruby are going around tonight so we shall see what we get up to
um, I, that was so hard. I feel sick and I've belly eaten. Late breakfast this morning, but I'm not eating since it's now two o'clock. So I need to go get some food and I definitely need a coffee after that. <laughs> I'm just at my dad's now and I've been in I've been in Costa for a few hours trying to learn my lines and stuff. Um and I've got a little special guest that would like to be in my vlog. Come here. Come here. You say hello to everyone. Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> Tell everyone who you are. Yeah. Go on. You tell everyone. <laughs> this is my sister Ruby. Say hello. hello. You have to say hello. Say hey, Huns. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. We're gonna change now to Ruby's vlog. <laughs> Go. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Did you speak on it? Huh? Good? Quiet a wee though. Did you speak a lot? No. You don't need it. I don't know what she's just said to you, but she had to take you in the other room. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, Ruby's little collab with me. But yeah, we're just waiting for my dad to cook tea. And okay, you can tell me what we're about to watch. Hold on, hey guys. We're just about to watch um, Ice Age, cracking film. <laughs> so whenever I come to my dad's, he always gives us so much food so that's pita chicken onions peppers coleslaw salad and flatbread but that portion size is a joke and i'm never gonna be <laughs> Good morning everyone, how are we all today? I wasn't going to do a two day vlog but here we are, I forgot to say goodnight last night so we're going to go for day two. My mum's just offered to give me a lift to the gym because the rain outside is so gross and I really want to accept this lift but I need coffee before I go to the gym so I need to really quickly drink this and get ready to quick. <laughs> I'm really on a lift to the gym and the other day I was so extra I got an Uber to the gym because there was no way I was walking and I've lost my umbrella so this is the current weather situation how's it all in Manchester go in well, yeah, I can see the uh, come out really Ha <laughs> ha 
So I'm back from the gym now. I trained up body and um, I use Grace Fit UK, her Instagram is. Um, I used her guide and trained back and shoulders. I've been kind of using that on and off for a while because I don't like always just use other people's workouts. I kind of incorporate them into my own. I first started using hers, her like guide thing that um like my weights have ups and stuff so there's growth happening it's good but it's his birthday isn't it he is the most loving dog you could ever ask for he just wants to give you cuddles and kisses and just wants to lie with you all the time and he's just the sweetest little baby and i love him but when i was walking back from the gym, I was listening to music and I was like, oh, I'm really bored of my music, whatever. Um, and then I remembered, um, there's a girl that I really like on Instagram and she's, I think her Instagram name's The Tiny Tank. Um, so give her a watch because her Insta stories and her YouTube channel's really good as well. So I'll link her below. Um, but she suggested this podcast and um, I've just started listening to it and I'm probably gonna listen to it while I'm cooking and stuff but it's called The Guilty Feminist. And um, this episode that I'm listening to is Monogamy with Rosie Wilby. And it's, she's so funny. This, I hate my camera for not focusing. It does not like bright lights. No, we're not focusing today, okay. Okay, you can vaguely see it so you know what, the, what you're looking for. But it's really funny and it's really good. I just made this, so it's, um, one piece of toasted sunflower seed bread um half an avocado so i've like mashed that up on the bread um a little bit of smoked salmon because i don't have much left and scrambled egg and i've put a tiny bit of sweet chili sauce on so i've had a shower and got changed um because i just felt I was sat for a while in my workout stuff and I just felt like really unmotivated and I watched Anzuela's video the other day and she basically said um, that the best thing you can do is to um, get dressed, um, like if people work, are working from home or anything, the best thing you can do to motivate yourself is like, have a shower, get ready, put your makeup on, like make yourself feel good um, and then yeah. So I've took that advice. I feel so much better because I was honest, I'm gonna have another cup of coffee because you can never have too much coffee. Don't tell me otherwise. And Buddy's crying at me, so I think he wants to go outside. What's the matter? <laughs> Hi. So, Hi bud, I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore for today because um, I'm actually feeling really down today and not in a great place at all and I wanted to create this YouTube channel because I wanted to be really open with people and really honest um, I wanted to be able to talk about different things and I want people to know that they're not alone in how they're feeling and honestly today I just feel so crap I I feel like I'm gonna cry um I just feel really shit um I don't want to feel like this I like being really positive but it's not easy to be positive all the time um especially like in my current situation um I'm so my camera cut out before um which was probably lucky because i was getting a bit upset what i was saying was that of my current situation um it's just really frustrating i'm 23 and i'm i don't want to be living at home anymore um i don't want to be working as a waitress anymore um those are things that i never wanted to have to do but in order for me to try and pursue an acting career 
that's kind of what I had to do. Um, I needed a job that was flexible for if acting stuff came up and I also needed somewhere to live in Manchester. But at the moment I just feel really like unfulfilled. I don't, um, I don't know if it's just how I'm feeling today and that I've kind of built it up in my head but I just, it's really hard to say because I've built this up for so long um, but I don't know if I want to do acting forever or anymore. It, obviously it's something I've always been passionate about and I've always wanted to pursue but it's such a hard industry and the amount of um, castings that I tell my agent I'm available for and auditions I tell them I'm available for and then you never hear anything else because that's just the industry. Um, the amount of emails that I've sent out to agents, uh, the amount of like contacts I've tried to build and like money that gets spent and it just kind of feels like it's wasted because you're not earning that money back. <laughs> like It's hard because I'm working as a part-time waitress to make myself flexible and available to be able to go and do these castings and auditions and things like that but when I'm not getting those things and I'm in this part-time job for the sake of it. Like I'm, I'm in this part-time job to try and get those things. So when those things aren't happening, it's really frustrating because it's like, well, like what what do I do in my spare time? Like I'm I want to be earning money, um, for myself obviously, but I can't because I'm not like I can't ask for more shifts because you know I might not intend to be there for those shifts because a casting or an audition might come up. Um, it's really complicated to explain but it's just a really frustrating situation and um, I kind of never know like when I should just kind of give up on it. Obviously I don't want to give up, I'm not the kind of person that gives up, I'm a really motivated person um, but it's not it's not easy like not being able to earn your own money like as much as you, you want to be able to um, and like there are so many opportunities out there and I can't like take advantage of those because I feel, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to explain. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to think anymore. But I tried to cheer myself up this afternoon and I submitted a play I wrote um, two years ago. I submitted it to um, a theatre company and I just think it's really important to just be proactive in this industry and to try and I want to do writing and I want to do acting so I've tried to be as proactive as possible but sometimes it's just so frustrating because it's just like just who's gonna say yes to me who's gonna want to see me who's gonna actually think I'm good enough um, and I kind of feel like that in all aspects of my life like I don't want to be a negative Nelly but it's so like, I don't know what the word is. Not having an easy day of it, but that's life. I hope you enjoyed this two day vlog, even if it's not ending on a high. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, please like and subscribe as it really supports my channel and um, it takes two seconds to share or retweet and I would massively appreciate any kind of feedback and anyone sharing my stuff is massively appreciated too and I'm so grateful for anyone that watches my videos. I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I shall see you soon. Bye!